This is a medieval stable with barracks above, as featured in my hardcore castle world. Today I'm going to show you how to make this. Let's get going. To make the stable and barracks, you'll need the following. And remember, if you are not building on the flat, if you're building on a slope, you may need a few extra or a few less of some of these blocks. The footprint of the stable, which forms the bottom floor, is pretty simple. It's 16 blocks long and 8 blocks wide. I'm going to begin, as always, at the front right-hand corner. So grab dark oak logs and on the front right-hand corner make a column four logs high. So one, two, three and four. Moving to the left along the front, leave a gap of one and then place a column of three. Leave a gap of three, another column of three. Then we're going to put down three more columns, each separated by a gap of two. So gap of two, one, two, three. Do it again and do it a third time and when you do it the third time it should be on the front corner. Come round the side, leave another gap of two but this time we're going to make a column of five so one, two, three, four and five. Leave a gap of three and make a column of four. Now come round to the back, we're going to make three more columns of four each with a gap of two between. That's one, two, and three, leave a gap of three and do a column of four, leave a gap of one and on the corner place another column of four. Come round to the side, leave a gap of three and place a column of five. Now that that's done facing the front, we're going to line up with this third pillar from the left, so one, two, three. Come to the inside and in line with this pillar, but also in line with the pillar that's five high, we're going to do another pillar that's five high. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now grab a waste block, come to the front right hand corner, and place a waste block next to the top of this column of four, and run dark oak logs right the way along the front to the other corner. Come back, knock out your waste block. Right, now come to one side, doesn't matter which, this column of five blocks high. On the front side, we're going to place one, two, three dark oak logs. We're going to come around to the back side and also place three dark oak logs. So on the front side, it ends above the corner pillar. On the back side, it ends one short of the corner pillar. Go around to the other side and do the same thing. Now come round to the front, grab your waste block, starting at one end, doesn't matter which, put a waste block next to the top log, put a waste block in front, get rid of the back one, and run dark oak logs right the way along, corner to corner. Get rid of the waste block at the end. On the back, waste block on top of your pillar of four, waste block next to it, get rid of the first one and again run dark oak logs right the way along and get rid of the waste block. Now come to the inside this pillar of five we're going to run one, two and three and three at the back just as we did before. Now looking from the front we want the pillar that's four from the left so one, two, three and four. We're going to go into the inside and we're going to run a row of logs right the way along in line with that pillar. That's the framework for our stables and the beginning of the framework for the barracks above. So at this point the next thing to do is to strip the bark from all these logs. Next we're going to build up the walls, their wattle and daub. I've got white wool to start with and then I'll come back in and texturize with snow blocks and white concrete powder. So let's begin. Starting at the right front corner again, leave this gap here blank and fill in this gap three by three with your wattle and daub blocks. Fill in the next block two by three with wattle and daub. Leave this one open, that's your doors, and fill in this one. Now come round to the corner We've got a space here that's two by four. So we're going to put two wattle and daub along the bottom. Leave the next row 
empty and put in four more and this space that is three by four completely fill it up round to the back we're going to fill in each of these bays completely with our wattle and daub blocks so you should end up with a solid wall like that Round on our remaining side, fill this 3x4 space completely with wattle and daub blocks. And this space here, we're going to put two along the bottom. Now grab your dark oak fences and fill the rest of this space with dark oak fence. Now come to the inside of the stable. And we're going to face towards the dark oak fence we've just made. Now next to this pillar here, we're going to put wattle and daub blocks up to a height of four leave a gap of one, do another column up to a height of four, fill in the two at the top so you've got a little doorway. Now we're going back to our dark oak logs and we're going to put a pillar that is one, two, three, four and five blocks high. Now that we've got this we're going to put two dark oak logs behind and one, two, three, four in front and we're going to strip all of those. Now that we've got these logs stripped, one, two, three and four wattle and door blocks. Now before we do the next floor, I'm going to mark the bays for the horses because it'll be a bit easier to see at this point. So come to the inside. Starting at the left hand end from this pillar, we're going to place one, two, three and four fences. Doesn't matter what type. And on top of this one, we're going to place one, two, and three. And we're going to put two fence gates. Run fences between this pillar and this one. And then two fence gates. And now we're going to go one, two, three, and four with one, two, three on top two fence gates and we should have a gap here that's three wide we're going to put one two and three so now if we fly up you can see that we've got three stalls all the same size and a fourth that is slightly larger right let's pop some doors in come to our doorway come to the inside and face out two spruce trap doors fold them down so that they are flush with the front of the building and then two spruce doors again flush with the front of the building so that they open inwards having the trap doors up there hopefully has the illusion of making those doors look taller but also has the benefit that you can ride your horse in here and this won't cause any damage to you now pop some dark oak fence into our window space and spam some torches around because next we're going to put a ceiling on this. The ceiling is very simple. We're going to use upside down spruce stairs. Come to one of these smaller gaps and run them in between the beams that you've made. And in this little gap do the same thing. And in the larger gap, do it again, make sure that it is in the same orientation as the small gaps. So like this rather than like that. So that's the ceiling almost done. You can see these gaps. We're going to go up and deal with them. But first, to do that, we need to make stairs. So come to our little gap here. And in between the two pillars, we're going to place a stair and another one behind it. And we're going to do that all the way up to the top. Here we are. And now in these gaps just fill them with spruce planks. Next we're going to make the framework for the barracks. So come again to the front corner. This is now jettied out one. That's okay. We're going to start on this front corner that sticks out. We're going to put a pillar of three dark oak logs. Now moving to the left leave a gap of one and put another pillar of three leave a gap of three and put another pillar of three so it should be in line with this crossbeam. Gap of two and a pillar of three 
and a gap of five. One, two, three, four, five, and a pillar of three. Now come round to the side. On top of this upright pillar, we're going to put a column of four. One, two, three, and four. Come to the back corner and put a column of three. Now come round to the back and we're going to put columns of three over each of these upright columns on the bottom floor. So it should look like that. Come round to the side and we're going to extend this one by four. One, two, three, and four. Now on the inside, this is going to be extended by three. And this one is going to be extended by four. That's our uprights. Next, the horizontal beams come to one side again, doesn't matter which. This column of four, we're going to come one, two, three, and four with dark oak logs. Do the same at the back, one, two, three, and four. Both of those should end over the corner columns. Same at the other end. And now we run logs end to end along the back and along the front. There we are. Now come to the inside this column of four. We're going to run logs along the front side and the back side. And now we're going to come off the sides of it. We're going to go right the way along to the right hand wall and all the way to the left hand wall. As for this one, this little pillar of three, we're going to run logs above it to the back wall and in line with it to the front wall. And now strip all of those. Now for the walls. Starting at the front right corner, we're going to fill in this gap here. This three by three, we're going to put wattle and door blocks right the way around, but leave a gap in the middle for a window and fill it with a dark oak fence. Now fill the next space, which is two by three with wattle and daub. As for the five by three, run a row right the way along the bottom. Next row, two, a fence, and two, and then a row right the way along the top. Come round to the side. This is gonna be another space with a single window in the middle. Just like that. And fill the next one in entirely, no window. Come round to the back, completely fill the first three spaces, which are two by three. And in this next space, which is three by three, we're gonna put a window right in the middle. Fill this next little space here. Now on our last side, fill this space here completely. And with this one, we're going to put a row of three blocks and then three spruce slabs on top. Now come to the inside. This wall here, row of four along the bottom, then starting on the right, one, a window, and two, and then fill in the top. So that's all our walls done. Now come round into the stairwell. Above the stairs, put upside down spruce stairs. And in this little space here, we're going to put one, two, three more. Leave the rest of the ceiling area here open. Now we've got a setup for our roof. So come to one end, doesn't matter which, we're going to start making our gable ends. So above this column, we're going to place one, two, three dark oak logs. Do the same at the other end and above this one in the middle. Now above one of those columns, put a waste block, put one in front of it, get rid of the first one and run dark oak logs right the way across end to end and get rid of your waste block and strip all of those. Now come to one end with your wattle and daub blocks next to this column, we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, and one. We're gonna do the same on this side and we're gonna come round to the other end and repeat it again. Now 
you might want to spam some torches around in the barracks area and a couple here and now we're ready for the roof. So come to the front and along this beam here we're going to place right way up spruce stairs end to end. When you get to the end put another one sticking out one come around to the back one upside down. Same over here. Now run a row of spruce stairs on top of the beam. Don't forget to go one out at each end and an upside down stair in behind. And just keep doing that going back one each time until you get to this top beam. Now that that's done repeat that on the back. Put an upside down stair in the gap at each end and top the whole thing with a row of bottom half spruce slabs. Now you can either leave it just with plain wool for a, a basic texture on the walls or you can fancy it up a bit. If you're going to texturize it I advise snow blocks and white concrete powder. Just go around and randomly knock out some blocks, put some of the others in in their place. Don't go overboard, try to avoid patterns and just play with it until you're happy. Now that the roof's done, come up the stairs to the barracks. We're going to put a door at the top of the stairs so that it opens inwards and we're going to put an upside down stair directly above it. Now all that's left is to get some horses in there and furnish it. Let's have a look downstairs. I've done up the floor with path blocks, coarse dirt, some hay bales set on their ends and some podsel because it looks a little bit like horse manure. Got a horse in each bay and if we come down here I've made a little shelf out of a spruce trapdoor and I've got some chests for horse feed, horse armour, saddles, that sort of thing. If you want to put a door on this by all means go ahead but you don't need it if you don't want it. Okay, coming upstairs, on these beams put some torches or some carpet or some pressure plates for spawn proofing. I've put some chests at the end here on this little platform and a torch for light and a ladder going up. That's just extra storage for the men in the barracks. A couple of chests around what about the rest of this? If you've got villagers, by all means, put down beds. If you don't have villagers, we're going to do something a little different. Grab some fencing. I'd suggest oak or maybe acacia, something that's going to contrast to the dark oak and the spruce. And we're going to put some trestle tables in. So two fences, leave a gap of oh, two and then two more. And we're going to put spruce trap doors on top of those and then crouch click to run them back to make some trestles and boards for tables. Next grab some slabs again I'd suggest something like oak something that contrasts and we're going to put some benches in and we're going to make another table oh, here just do it exactly the same way you can run it in the same direction if you want. I'm just putting it at the opposite angle just for something different. And again, put in some benches. Now, if you've watched my Hardcore Castle series, you know what this is about. Furniture was kept at a minimum. It was generally for rich people. We've got tables and benches for the guards to sit at in the day when they're off duty, when they're eating. At night, these are packed away and they would fill sacks with hay and sleep on the floor which isn't as bad as it sounds because you'd have the rising warmth from the horses underneath. Now you can leave the stables like this and call it finished or you can add detail. If you want to put shutters on the windows put them on the inside not on the outside particularly in the barracks area. Use spruce trapdoors for that. You can also use spruce trapdoors under the eaves to add a little bit of interest just like that and you can do that around the other side too and you can add spruce stairs or slabs under the jettying for a little bit of support 
again like that you might want to come in with dark oak fences run them as extra decorations down the sides it's whatever you feel like whatever you think makes your build look the way you want it so there's the stable and barracks done if you click on the end card that's on the screen now you can see how I built this in my hardcore castle world partly on an angle and partly over sloping terrain and on that note I'll see you in the next video bye